In this video, we will walk you through an overview of orgs on the DBMXS platform. We'll talk about what orgs are and how they are useful for managing users. If you prefer to read documentation, this information is also all available on the DBMXS wiki at the links below this video. Let's begin. What is an org? An org, short for organization, is a concept on the DBMXS platform that represents a group of users. Orgs can be used to simplify the sharing of projects apps, and billing. In its simplest form, an org can be thought of as an alias to refer to a group of users. Instead of sharing a project with several individual users or giving individual users access to an app, you can instead share with an org. In the following example, we have a hypothetical org called Org Sequencing Lab. This org is represented by the green circle in this diagram. The org currently has one member, the org admin, represented by the green person labeled A. We can give Org Sequencing Lab view permissions to a project called Resources. By sharing this project with the org, we are giving every member of Org Sequencing Lab view permissions to this project. Right now, the org only has one member, user A. This means only user A has permissions to the Resources project via the permissions granted to his org. User A, as the org admin, has the ability to add users to the org. By adding users B and C to the org, User A is giving these users permissions to all projects that are shared with the org. In this case, user B and C now have view permissions to the resources project. User A can even add another org admin, user D, to the org. We can add a second shared project, the raw data project, and give everyone in the org upload permissions to the project. You can also share an app with an org by making the org an authorized user of the app. In this case, we have shared a QC app with Org Sequencing Lab ensuring that all four users have access to view and run this app. In short, sharing projects and apps with an org allows a group of users performing similar functions to be given the same access to shared resources. Finally, orgs make it easy for org admins to revoke user permissions to share data and apps. Say user C leaves the lab and should no longer have access to lab projects and apps. The org admin can simply remove her from the org. Now, only users A, B, and D have access to these two shared projects in the shared app. User C has been removed from all projects and apps shared with the org. In addition to simplifying sharing, orgs can be used to consolidate and simplify billing. Orgs can be associated with a billing account, which allows users to build projects and apps to the org billing account. This means that members of the org can create org projects, projects that are billed to the org. The org will be invoiced for the storage and compute charges associated with org projects. This is useful if you have a lab working with a shared budget where each lab member needs to have the ability to work independently in their own projects. The members of the org can also create apps that are built to the org. The org will be responsible for the storage associated with the apps. Associating a billing account with an org allows labs with a shared budget to consolidate all platform activities onto one invoice. Additionally, by building a project to an org, the user assigns ownership of the project to the org. The org admin, as the administrative user in the org, has the ability to discover and oversee all org projects, as well as revoke permissions to any project billed to an org. If a user leaves the lab, the org admin can quickly gain control of all org projects the user had access to and revoke the user's access to these projects as well. In the past few minutes, we've shown simple examples where a given user belongs to only one org. However, users can belong to and even administer a number of orgs. For example, if a user is working with two labs with two different budgets, the user may need to be able to create and work in projects built to the two respective orgs. In this example, we have our original org, Org Sequencing Lab, and a second org, Org Research Group. We can make user D an admin of both groups. She can add user E to both Org Sequencing Lab and Org Research Group, and add user F to Org Research Group. Let's take a closer look at each user's respective permissions in this example. We see that users A, B, and C only have access to Org Sequencing Lab. Users D and E have access to both orgs, while user F only has access to Org Research Group. As you can see, Orgs are a flexible tool used to represent groups of users. Orgs can be used to simplify resource sharing, consolidate billing, and associate platform work to real-world billing structures. In the next few videos, we will walk you through the org admin interface 
and show you how to manage org members and projects as an org admin. If you have any further questions or would like to explore deeper, please take a look at the links to our wiki guides below. Thank you for listening.